you're watching this video and you can't do a backflip, you can't do a gainer, or you can't do a full, look at my other tutorials. I've made one for each of those. I'll put a link for that in the description. If you can't do that, then let's learn how to cork. So what a cork is, it's basically a gainer flash with a full twist in it. So that's swinging into a backflip off one leg and doing a full twist. That's more or less what a cork is. Now, if you don't have a gym to train in, that's fine. You can learn it on grass. I learned mine's on grass. This is my first ever cork back in 2008. You can also learn it on trampoline. You can learn it off of things. But really, just learning on the grass or in a gym, preferably if you have the ac access to one, do it there. So if you watched a gainer tutorial, which I hope you did, then you will know I ran you through what a J-step was, and that's the takeoff I'm gonna be demonstrating. A cork can be done from a lot of setups, like scoot, um, touchdown raise, whatever, but the most simple one for explaining is J-step, and that's what most people's first cork will be. So start off with your J-step, just like you're about to do a gainer. Then as you're here, you're taking off very similar to the gainer. You're kicking towards your left ear, you're getting your leg right up, you're getting your chest and your arms up with your leg out in front of you on that nice angle. So you're in this position, and this is the ideal position you want to be in. Leg up, pushing through your toes, driving your chest and arms up. Once you're in this position, let yourself, let your whole body come up. So once your arms are up, they're gonna do exactly what they do when you're doing a full. This, this arm's gonna punch around whilst this one hooks around, but all whilst driving that chest up and pushing up through your toes. From here, up, and like this, this is when you start to bring it around. Now as you bring it up, some people look over their shoulder and spot the ground behind them. I don't, but that's under preference, so you can see what works for you. The key part is really just piecing it together. Like, if you can do a good gainer, you can do a good fall. You can just probably do a cork. I mean, I figured it out. When I did my first cork, I pretty much did a standing full off one leg, which isn't the best way to do it, but you know, if you have a good gainer, then you'll easily just piece them together. Up here, kick towards your left ear, hook punch, bring it round, then just tense your core like you do in a full. Once you've done all that, when you're in the air, it should more or less feel like a full. Um, if you hit the nice axis, then it throws you around real nice. And then, you should be able to just see the ground, you should come down for it, spot your landing, stick it like a pro, now don't expect to land one, two, like I'm doing right now, or landing swinging. That probably won't happen on your first attempts. When you do cork enough, like all the steps of it become automatic, and then you can focus on your really nice landing. But when you're first learning, you probably won't have all that much control, so you just expect to come around onto two feet. And that's like perfectly fine in the beginning. So this is what the progression goes like. You wanna have a back foot, you wanna have a gainer, you want to have a full, preferably from standing, because that just means that you're good enough at it to do it from standing. And when you have all those things, you should have no problem piecing them all together, you get yourself a cork. Whoa! This is why training on the grass in the UK is a bad idea. I just slipped real bad. If you can already do a cork, here's some tips that'll make your cork a little bit better. For me, one of the biggest tips is really driving this leg up because you can get away by doing a cork but not swinging your leg at all. Some people do corks and double corks fine without swinging their leg at all. They literally do this. And that's fine in the beginning to learn, but like, you know, if you want to make your cork nicer, then one of the best things to do for it is to really focus on driving this leg up. And one way to do that was to sort of trick myself by saying, oh, I'm doing a gainer, but then I'm going to twist it. Tip number two for double corks, this is something that helps me a lot, is to not rush it. I see some people, they have a good single cork that's quite high, easily high enough to do double cork, but then as soon as they do double cork, it's way lower, and that's because they're rushing it. They're getting carried away, they think, I need to twist now to get the twist in, but you know, in doing so, they're cutting all their height, so they have less time. And by rushing it, I mean, when you're at this point here, a lot of people will go, bam and try and just twist right into it because they're trying to get the twist done. But the best way to do it is to ride your cork up, way up, let your leg come all the way up, arms in the air, let yourself be at your highest point when you hit for the double twist. And then of course, there's cork swings, but I'm not gonna go into swing throughs in this video because I have a couple of tips and they work well for cork, full, gainer, um, pretty much any swing through. 
and I'm going to make that in its own separate tutorial. If you can do a cork and you're wondering to yourself what's next, then chances are you should probably keep doing your cork and then you'll know what's next. Natural progression after a cork could be hyper cork, then double cork. So learn your cork, get it nice, don't rush to double cork, and then you'll be fine. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any questions. Let me know what tutorial you guys want to see next. Make sure you like this video if it helped you in some way. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.